welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for making us part of your week. It's Petso here from the Celtic War Room. And we're still playing some Fable Dom. I don't think I'm ever... Fable Dom. I, I don't think I'm ever going to pronounce that properly, but... It, I'm really enjoying my time at the game. I think it's really, really good. I would recommend it. Um, we're probably... I'd say we're 50% sure of the content that's in it at the moment. It is early access. So, you know, worth picking up in the sale and uh, having a go. I imagine... Um, just from looking at the menus and seeing the unlock stuff, like a lot of stuff is like this. This feature will be later on and uh, during early access. Um, there's a few things like that, so I imagine there's probably maybe six hours worth of of gameplay here at the minute. But it's very, very promising, and uh, I only really do have uh, positive things to say about it. To be honest with you, I'm digging our little town. Our council estate is looking magnificent, um, and our farming district is looking good as well. And also. Our industrial zone is uh, is looking highly, highly good. Uh, we left it last week uh, where we were just producing planks uh, for the first time ever. Um, and she's working away at, at, at it at the moment. Um, no, she's taking her time. She hasn't made one plank yet. Uh, wood is up to 181, which is good. Stone is 189, which is actually really, really good considering. Uh, actually, well, I'd better say considering. We, we don't have anything to spend wood on or stone on. So uh, it's worked out really well. Uh, some mushrooms there. Look, some beautiful mushrooms. So yeah, we'll continue on, and uh, we'll see what today brings. Thanks very much for checking us out. Make sure to like button, subscribe, and um, you know check out other videos and stuff like that. Hang around. Let me know um, how you are getting on. I might stream the next uh, portion of this game, uh, maybe for a couple of hours, and get like a big chunk of it done. Um, but if you are enjoying these videos, do let me know in the comments. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, and if any help or suggestions, or you see anything I'm doing wrong, um, also you know pop them in the comments. But uh, let's see how everybody's doing. Our farms are fine. Food is like up to 500. We have two granaries and one is 50% full. And the other one is nearly full completely. Um, so what I suggest we do today is get some windmills on the go. But we can't get windmills on the go until we get planks of wood. And I don't understand why she, there she's making one. I think anytime she makes any, it's getting put straight into our stone quarry. Um, there's seven in there already. If I cancel it, I'll lose all the materials. So... Um, I suppose it's better to leave this building as a blueprint rather than actually make it. Now, we could get two sawmills on the go. <coughs> My only issue with that is um, I don't know if I'll have enough wood um, to kind of be happy with that. Uh, we might run out of wood. We might need it for something, but we have a heap of grain. Um, so, uh, you know what? Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I just had a great idea and then I went and was like, oh, no, I don't come up with great ideas very often. Um, where's the door? I think we're going to go for second one. Um, I feel like... I don't think we can get... Oh, we can. I was going to say, I wonder if that would... work like that. Uh, I wanted to build uh, some more coal places as well, but that also uses wood. I was going to put two and two... One there, one facing that way. So we could fit three. Could fit three of them in. Uh, why wouldn't it let me put that? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Wouldn't let me place it there for ages. Uh, then we just tie all that up with... Um, Perfect. Uh, we'll get rid of this cold place uh, once they're up and running as well. Um, somebody is, there's a world event. A beggar needs your attention. Times have been hard. We have tried our best to put food on the table. We're out of options. We heard your good heart and decided to swallow our pride and come and beg for help. Uh, 40 vegetables, we've loads. Yeah, go on. Have some vegetables, you beggar. Excellent. Uh, yeah, no, I'm really happy with how uh, things are going so far. Um, Housewise, you can probably fit a few more down here. I think we're covered for water. Uh, oh, yeah, we can actually... We can now build our houses out this way more. Uh, is it? So we can actually go out further this way if we wanted to. Um, but we'll see. I think everything's doing pretty well. Our stone mine, uh, 270 left in that one. And hopefully this one will be up and running soon enough. 
uh, where I don't know where our builders are, but we could hire another builder in here and speed all that up. And let's get another guy for in here as well. Stockpiles need two people, I think. I think the granary doesn't. I think one one person for the granary is enough. Um, though I don't know if they bring the grain to the windmills or not. That could be a thing. And then we might need a second one in there, depending on how many windmills uh, we put up. I'm thinking about putting the windmills up here. So I'm hoping the flower goes to the granary and then up to the two, and I'll put two windmills up this way. Uh, we can fit maybe three houses there as well. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to try and leave up here for our forestry, but the forestry might need to be moved again. We do have pigs now as well, so I presume a pig farm is on the way. Um, we can get an iron quarry. We can get a blacksmith. We can't get a sheep farm because it's not early access yet. A plasmic liquid extractor. We can't get that because it's early access. And... A prismatic liquid refinery, refinery, sorry, even, and uh, that's locked under the early access as well. So I do feel like there's not a whole lot of like gameplay in this at the minute. It is very, very early access, but I can see it becoming really, really good. Um, but yeah, I can see that it's. It, I'd say this probably needed another. I think this is one of those games that came out on early access because they wanted to get some of that money in. Um, so that they can work more on the game and I think they're doing a great job and I think they they look passionate about it um, but maybe an extra month or two in the in the oven cooking just to have some features some playable features because I do feel like imagine playing Anno and only being able to build a couple of houses and uh, having to wait six seven months before you can actually really give it like sit down and have a good 10 hour session on it you know but then I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Uh, we haven't even done our heroes yet. Uh, the new update I was reading brings brought in all these uh, barracks, swords, fighter, and archery. So you must be able to do something with them. Uh, watch towers, early access. So we get, we can build a stone wall, and so we, yeah, we all, all that stuff. I'd say they definitely need some more tier one stuff, um, building wise. Just to get, like I think. And then I think what I would do if I was the developer is I would have an upgrade where you could upgrade buildings. So say, for example, the coal place only had one person in it. You could upgrade it. It would look a little different, look a little bigger, and then you could have a second person in it and it would speed up production. That's just me. That way you wouldn't have to build a brand new, you wouldn't have to create a brand new building. Uh, but you could have something good going on. Right, let's close, uh, get rid of him and get rid of that building. And then we will just open these two for now. And we'll leave the third one for a little while. I don't think we need uh, the third one. Frankie has joined us in the room. That's my dog. Um, perfect. I am I am liking our little industrial zone. And we definitely have more space for more things up here as well. Uh, do think we're going to be short on wood soon enough. How are we doing on this one? Oh, we can speed time up. Probably that. Our main road is looking cool. I think doubling up the road was a good idea. Just now, purely so it looked better. Not like it hasn't made anybody run faster or, or get deliveries quicker or anything like that. But it's definitely helped with the aesthetic of the place. I think it looks it looks really nice. Um, we don't need food or farms. We just need those windmills. And it's 20 stone and 15 planks. Uh, my idea was to put them up here. Now I'm thinking, so, hang on, so there's 157 wheat in there, or, yeah, wheat, and there's two there, so what we could do is we could say that this one doesn't hold wheat, only this one does, and then maybe we'll say, because hmm, this one's pretty far away for food and stuff like that, uh, Oh yeah, because we're going to put bread into there, because we eventually get bakeries, won't we? You know what, we'll just put everything everywhere. But the eggs aren't available, they're not in the early stages. We don't have meat yet. And I don't, and fish, fish isn't in the game yet either, so. But you can see that they're ready to add fish. It's just, whatever reason, the building or whatever they have 
in plan for it. Just it just needs to be kind of coded into the game, and they're just not ready for that yet. Um. Yeah, the granary is full. We have a lot of this. Now, the other thing is, I don't think I'm going to fit two next to each other. Oh, I will. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, I didn't want to build them straight away, but look, we have. It's okay. Uh, house. <coughs> houses. Can never have enough houses. Time to get rid of our little arrow and click back on this house and build a garden. It has to be the minimum is three by three. We stick one food and one happiness in there. And we get our next house. I do like the houses and I like how you can edit the gardens and stuff. It's a it's a nice little feature that um a lot of uh, places don't a lot of games don't have. Now and I believe we could can't put one. Probably can't put that there because the road. But that's okay because what we can do is oh it's winter time. Okay. Oh, they've no water. Brilliant. I didn't check that. Uh they are out of the water zone, so we're gonna have to put another here put it there because I think they get bonuses for having two near them so might as well try and get everybody else to get a little bonus get that happiness up uh, it hasn't it dropped under 60 it's on 62 at the moment um, it's been under 60 but it hasn't really got that high like hasn't been over 50 I suppose more the higher your population the harder it is to um, to get them to be happy uh prince pet so your grace we have recently left our own realm and you okay but we want to give them money hand over 75 coin in return two peasants will join your realm if housing is available spend five nobility in return for two peasants all oh, right okay well we don't want to spend that so let's just spend our gold okay decorations have a lot of nice things yeah let's put that in there okay so once the windmills start you using up all our grain they'll start making flour and I, I would presume it's going to be two grain for one flour or something like that we it's hard to tell can we see it in here uh, produces flour from grain. Okay, it doesn't really say how much, but I'm guessing that's going to be like two or three grain for one flour. Um, excuse me. Uh, we have nine unemployed. Uh, so let's go around and just have a. Oh wait, we can use this menu. So jobs. So the sawmill doesn't have anybody, which is. Unemployed workers. Okay, so let's get Richard in there. Uh, and you can get that going. The coal maker, I didn't want to put somebody in that just yet. The granaries. The granaries are close by, so that's okay. There's nobody close lives close enough uh, to work there. That's okay. So there is a little bit of management moving people around. once Because we, we probably need another housing district. You know, maybe on the far side of the of our industrial zone, and then that way, uh, people will have shorter distances to go to work. So that could work. Um, everybody else here looks fine. It's just we forgot to put the sawmill on. That was the only thing. Finances, coal maker isn't costing us anything because it's not working. Everything else, stone quarry isn't on yet. I suppose everyone's going to be working in a minute once the windmill and the stone uh, comes on. Nobles are zero. Commoners zero. Peasants are make giving us uh, 236 a turn, but then obviously we have our outgoings as well. Uh, history log payments. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Uh, it's still waiting for nine uh, wood, but now we've got. The only problem is I think we're going to run out of um, forest. We might do. Yay! We became a small town. Commoners, commoner. A commoner is next tier fable class. They live in a townhouses, pay more taxes, and can perform more complex jobs, but also require more to remain happy. Uh, you received 250 coin, that's fine. Uh, condominium, a hub for the house, townhouse area. Workers provide resources uh, to the attached housing. Okay, and townhouses, second tier of housing. The town shop functions uh, as a resource reseller, perfect for shortened trips um, required by workers in the area. A town well, uh, sewer for the townhouses, and cobblestone. So that's all nice, we could probably waste all our money on cobblestone roads. Um, perfect. Uh, build a messenger's guild. Oh, we still haven't done that, have you not? Okay. Seems like uh, we should have done that uh, a good while ago. Okay, messenger guild is in now as well. I presume that didn't cost us. That was ten planks as well. Oh my god. Right, uh, my idea for getting wood quicker is to put a wood place down here and just ask the guys um, to start. I just get three people in and get them to cut wood, but not to replant. Uh, time's been sped up. We don't have a, like, a town center, so to speak. Our trees got made. Nice. Uh, lumber camp has finished construction. Oh yeah, that's this one. Sorry, I was like, what? Uh, okay, let's get three people in here to start cutting down trees. Uh, I think we need to grab as many trees as we can um, to get those log, get the not the logs, get the. Um, Sorry, to get wood logs in so we can make wood planks and to get them in we're gonna run we're gonna run low on wood eventually because we're also making coal out of wood remember so and we can't we can't make like a restriction like that would be something nice maybe for a future upgrade as well would be to to have the coal like click on the coal place and then say only make coal um if it goes under 100 coal you know that way so you can always make sure you've got like a stockpile of 100 200 coal uh, okay, so we're getting an option now for commoners, but we don't have anything um, that we can do with them just yet, because we don't. We haven't even looked at them, to be honest with you. It costs a load of planks and a load of... Oh, we haven't even got that yet. We need um, stone masonry first as well. So we still have a lot um, of room to go. We're going to need more storage soon as well, I, I, I reckon. Uh, that one's not full yet. That one probably doesn't need to store coal, you know. Uh, yeah, that one's not even full. Even though they look full because of all the boxes, they're not actually full. Uh, this one's done as well. Let's get three people in there as well. They have to travel pretty far to work there, but I'm okay because I'm not in any rush. I just need extra wood uh, coming in. We've already gone up to 200, which is good. Um, we love our homes, but in the area we live could use with some love. We are hoping you could help us create an area that would really impress our neighbors. Uh, I'm going to say, unfortunately, we can't help because that means I'm going to have to destroy things and remake them. Uh, because they're already, every all the houses are already, like, look, plus 16. Uh, did the second, wa oh, look, the second water thing did help. Messenger Guild is in. Uh, stick two people in there, and now we can go to world map. Uh, that's where we are. We're in Salaria, and we have some neighbors to our north. So let's go say hello to them, and let's say hello to them as well. Okay, so our messengers are sent out. I can see one of our windmills being built. Uh, I can also see our stone quarry is now finished. Three people in there. How many people have we got left? Because I've been sort of nobody unemployed anymore. I've been kind of just smashing it out here. I'm going to need some uh, woodcutters to come back. If 
for these windmills. Right, windmills are in. Though I think I may have got them facing the wrong way. Would have been nice if they faced this way. But it is what it is. It does look great, doesn't it? Now that it's built up. Um, like we should, we could. Oh, look, we can claim this. Sorry, uh, we can claim this reward. I'm gonna do that. Uh, greeting, send a Oh yeah, we've done. We're sending the messer at the moment. The townhouse. Probably gonna have to do that in the next one. Uh, I, feel, I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot of resources that we don't have right now. Uh, food's not low, but it's getting low. Um, I can see the guy bringing the grain. And now he's inside. And it's turning. The top of it is turning. He's gonna catch the wind. Uh, we can hold 81 people, we have 65. Uh, okay. Excellent. We only need five more planks. And this is now going. I kind of want to get rid of this soon. But we are nearly there. It's 206 left. And they've started on the big one now as well. I suppose we'll get our stone masonry guys. And we'll try and put them. Maybe we might need two. We'll put two up here perhaps. I might need another. I think I'm going to need another stockpile. But I don't think I need another granary. So we might once this stone is gone. Create a new stockpile for that one. Um, I just, it won't be like our little thing we have here. It'll be a brand new. Just one on its own. Um, uh, Giovanni, we met him. He wants 50 gold. Uh, okay, you can have 50 gold. Uh, that's uh, okay, so we can claim... We get 50 gold back, so that was free. Which is nice. A happy surprise. Send a gift. Uh, send a message with a gift to another ruler. Okay. I thought we sent... Thought we sent one out here. Oh, we did send the messenger. Look, oh, there we go. Winifred, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, accept this gift so, so I can give them 10 coal. I have 29, so yeah, okay, you can have some coal and uh, have a message with uh, 15 more coal. Hang on, oh, do we have? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Yeah, we do. We do have to send a message 15 goals. There you go. Get into her good books. Uh, sawmill is sawing away. And again, you see, if you could just put limits on the sawmills and stuff like that would be nice. Um I know you can you can shut them off, but I some in some cases you might want to keep a worker working there, but like they've hit their limit. So they've they've got two hundred planks in. And then say we build a building and those two hundred planks get Put down to 180 planks. Then they can go working again to get that 20 planks back up. That's all I'm saying. Right, second windmill is up and running. And it's facing this way. Facing a completely different way, even though I put them in the right place. Now I'm thinking maybe that one of them is not facing the right way. It's very hard to tell. Though they rotate, so you probably won't even notice it soon. Um, how are we getting on with wood cutting down here? Seems to have gone up to 250 now, which is good. They're going to cut through. All those trees will be gone soon. Um, also buys these time. These guys could time to let the trees grow back. Uh, yeah, I want to put a new stockpile where this stone thing is, and then I want to put stone masons in the stone masonry. think that would work because that's four and uh, that one is only one then you put the three around it so I think that would work if we just get one stone mason. so we actually have 150 stones so we're not doing bad for stone though these new buildings are costing us stones 25 it's quite expensive but I think we're doing all right look at this guy he's in the lumber camp uh, speed up time again uh, townhouse has delivered the gift successfully. So the gift is on the way. That is our objective. Let's go into photo mode here and have a. Maybe 
be if we get around. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go. Uh, it's a shame they're not facing this way so we could kind of get a better view, but that's quite nice. It's beautiful. Screenshot mode needs some upgrades. I have a lot of things. You know when I like a game, I just keep thinking of think ways of making it better. And I don't mean them as criticisms. Uh, I just mean like ways that I can see I, how I would enjoy the game more. And I think when you become a fan of any game, that is kind of how your thought process goes. You kind of go, oh, I wish they'd added this, I wish they'd added that. But this game is still early access, which means there's still time to add all those wonderful things. Get into the discussion boards, follow them on their social medias. Message was delivered, we got 40 gold for that. Our gold is 2,000 now. Um, maybe we should build our hero quarters. I feel like we have left a little while. I w if I do that, I would like it to be a little... I want it to be a square kind of area. Okay, I've got an idea. Uh, so I just... So if I want to get rid of this road, I have to do this. I don't want to get rid of that road. I just hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, okay, so that's a house, and then we go up. So that's another row of houses. And then I want to say uh, on the wrong option. So the road splits off there a little bit. We don't need to double road it all the way up here anymore. So we'll we'll start working off. Oh, that's the wrong one. Over. So that was a double. Double double. I think I'm gonna go. So, hang on, it might be wrong. No, that's right. I, need, I think I need to make it... I'm just thinking if I want to add kind of more military stuff, I want to make a little bit of space for things. So I'm going to make it up one more and wide one more as well. And uh, I'll have the tent there like that. Yeah. So, have one more space like that. And visitors, yeah, come on off. No. Okay, so that's being made. That should be done in a second. Uh, we do have a street theater that we could make, and it would fit here. Now, it's only going to make a couple of houses nice, like happy, but I suppose we could put more houses down. Like that. And then. Ah. Uh, okay. And then we get the road uh, to go like that. Does the water cover that section? It does. And I think Oh, what a specimen. Your hero has arrived. Hero time, the baby. Hero is your kingdom's strongest fighter. It can interact with secrets in the realm, level up, and even equip new items. Oh, go on. Try giving it an order. Okay. Uh, minute, sorry. People are arriving every single day. Uh, okay, so... We can right click and he goes around. We can equip him with stuff, open inventory. So he's got a red hat or a blue hat. The red hat is more damage but less attack speed in the other one. Okay, so let's go for red hat. And then he has uh, a powerful trinket that boosts the abilities of a hero for a short time. Okay, let's equip that one as well. We can't change his name. His name is just Fergus. Uh, so we can't make him ours. And Fergus can go to this house over here. 
wooden flower pot. A large wooden flower pot filled with flowers. Oh, well done, Fergus. I presume that's pretty much all he does, isn't he? He's also a giant. Uh, let's claim that. Uh, begin courting another ruler to deliver courting gifts. Okay, okay, we can do that kind of thing. Um, let's get him down this road here. He could be mined in the place, I suppose. He's an absolute giant of a man. How does he fit in any of these houses? He's like 10 feet taller than everybody else. He's humongous. This giant man will devour us all. Uh, okay. Perfect. Uh, sorry, I do love photo modes in uh, uh They want 80 coin. I'll send some help. Yeah. Right. Fairies, huh? Look at them. We found them. No, they're butterflies. Where are these fairies you're banging on about? I don't see no fairies. Okay. Uh, I just noticed there's no uh, road there. Which is very strange. It's not like me not to do that. Um, we can't build a road here. It's uh, too close. We could get two more houses in this little gap here. And I think they're covered bit water so that might be a good idea uh let's go i'm gonna go on house mad uh but i don't mind uh What are we up to? We are up to 87. Um, well, we can fit 87 people in their town now, but uh, we only have 73 in there at the moment. Okay, so that's tent. Does nothing but mines Fergus. Seems fine. Uh, did we gain? Oh, we got this flower pot. We got pink, blue, or yellow. There's another room for a house there, so I don't want to. More houses. see our flower pot and then uh, we'll have to call it a day come on flower pot who's gonna deliver it first there it is nice right well I'm gonna leave it there for today everybody thank you for coming on thanks for making us part of your week I really do appreciate it um, if you want to watch more with me on it, check out. We stream every week, every single day of the week. Uh, well, not every day of the week. That's a lie. I just lied to you. So I'm sorry. Uh, we, we stream a couple of times a week, always on a Tuesday, unless someone's sick or something. Um, but we usually do a multiplayer live stream on Tuesday, and uh, I'll stream randomly throughout the week. So make sure you're subscribed and you're following, and you'll know when we go live next. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.